Hi everyone, welcome back to Animal Crossing Part 3. First, a real quick plug. We have Animal Crossing merch. We actually made it a long time ago, but due to uh, issues in the world right now, there was some printing delays and stuff, but it's finally here. It's really awesome, available in t-shirt and the most comfortable sweatshirt in the world. The front has Tom Nook chilling there, and the back, Lone Sky High. Out of all the merch you're going to find on YouTube, it's some of the cheapest merch out there, and it's super comfortable. Check it out at austinjohnplays.com slash merch. Episode 2 went up an hour ago, and I'm like, alright, I want to get back into the game. <laughs> but going forward, I'm not going to be including my face, just because I'm really enjoying just being comfortable in playing. And we also have all the audio problems figured out, so without any further ado, let's, uh, let's get back into my journey. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, first thing, again, thank you on the support. You guys have been amazing. I'm actually going to be starting this episode off playing at night because I want to get some uh, some nighttime stuff, like fishes and other things. I put a nice little dusk ball on the back. I think it's really nice with the purple sleeves. Maybe a nice simple bowler hat. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, wow, I look like a magician. <laughs> I look like a bad Las Vegas magician. That's fine. That's okay. We're, we're running with it. And as far as I know, there's no way for me to share the designs that I make. If you link your phone in the Nintendo Switch Online account, you can download designs from 3DS titles, but as it stands right now, there's not a way to download it from the Switch that I know of. If I'm wrong, please tweet me at Austin John Plays and let me know because I would love to be able to share these designs with you. If not, you guys you guys are going to have to take the 20-30 minutes to make them yourself. Oh, cuz now I'm using the Animal Crossing New Horizon Joy-Cons. The uh the seafoam green and the sky blue. Apparently I get a present for that. <laughs> it's an Animal Crossing New Horizons Nintendo Switch. I assume this is the exact same design as the Nintendo Switch that I currently have. Except the Joy-Cons are colored for Animal Crossing. Is that is that the only difference here? Sure is. Oh, and it has the dock too. I love it. I also used one of the walls that I got from Timmy and it's blue camo and oh, it is so cringy, but that's what we have until we have something better. Yay, thanks great home. You're awesome. So as I previously mentioned, one of the biggest reasons that I'm out here at night for the beginning of this episode is because I want to get some nighttime critters like that boy over there because I think there's just more stuff I need to give blathers. Oh God, I can't see behind the tree. Up oh, there he is, great. Someone left a comment on a previous video saying, hey, did you know that you were able to just take any critter that you find and go to place item and then it's gonna be its own little safe terrarium and you can just leave that on the ground until you're ready to give it to blathers, you know, for the first couple days or whatever. So little pro tip for the people first starting off here. Yeah, Santa Scorch. Eat. I think I have one already. Not too sure. So I know that at night you can find tarantulas, or tarantulas can find you, and you can totally swoop them up before they sting you. But if they sting or bite or whatever tarantulas do to you, and uh, you don't catch it, then you pass out right in front of your house. Ooh, it's a present. Let's shoot it. If I shoot it over water, does it fall into the water? I guess I'm in the wrong spot to shoot it. Nice. A baseball shirt. Well, that's neat. Right outside in the museum, that kind of looks like a moth. Which would make sense because the museum's all lit up. Yep, that's a moth. <laughs> that's pretty great. Look at that, there's another moth right outside of uh, Tom Nook's resident services. Because there's light. I mean, that makes sense, right? Oh! <laughs> I thought that was just gonna be a regular shell, but it's a hermit crab. Can I get the second one? Sure can. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. This is weird. I just got an achievement for planting flowers, but I didn't get it before. Huh. Neat. My storage is full and I can't put anything else in it. 
I didn't know that I had a maximum storage. All right, so I decided late night that I wanted to keep playing, and that isn't the best time for voiceovers, so I just kind of documented everything I did, and I decided I'm going to try it out like this to let you guys know what happened on Plays Island. So I bought a Nook Miles ticket, and it was an island with oranges. I'm starting to think that the fish, fruit, and flowers you find might be thematic, like there are oranges here and there's oranges on my island, so the flowers and fish that I find are all going to be the same. So far far to date I've only seen oranges and bamboo while hitting a rock I found a gold nugget and this is the first one that I've ever seen in the game I also found a man facing stink bug and a koi I don't think I've ever found a koi back on my island but then again I only have a very small fishing pond there was an NPC but it didn't look cool enough for plays island so I let them be I spent about an hour making the champions tunic from breath of the wild by the way here's my pixel design it's the pro custom design with the hoodie just take a screenshot and tweet me if you make it. A lot of people were asking about my design, so I recorded a video on how to make pixel art shirts that should have been posted earlier today. Then I decided to try my luck at another RNG island, and I get another island with oranges. Then I find the creepiest looking monkey in the world with dark red eyes that are staring into my soul, so no thank you, and I was stung by wasps again. I bought another ticket, and I got another orange island. I'm starting to think that it, I'm being punished for making Pokemon shirts. I'm starting to think that maybe I can't find a different fruit island until after my second day is complete, or maybe there's something else in the game preventing me from finding one of those islands. I've also been tweeting pictures of people who found an island that was overrun by tarantulas, an island that was a whole bunch of hybrid flowers, and I just keep getting the same boring vanilla orange islands. And just as soon as I was about to head uh, back to my land, I found a tarantula, and that was exactly what I was looking for, which is amazing. Then I took a little time to plant all the fruit that I gathered from my three islands that I visited. That put me at midnight, and I've, then I found a ghost. His name is Wisp, and he, uh, this ghost, Wisp, is afraid of ghosts, and it thinks that I'm a ghost. I don't know. <laughs> He tasked me with finding five lost parts of its soul. And right in the middle of that, I was a little confused because for some reason I had 99,000 bells in my inventory as an item, and it turns out that my wallet was full. You can't hold more than 100,000, and now I know the reason that there's an ATM and you can deposit money in there. After 25 minutes of looking, I found all five parts of Spirit Boy, and he said they reward me with a wallpaper. I guess anything is an upgrade from the blue camel walls that I have now. He said I could have something I don't have yet, or something expensive. And since I don't have, like, any wallpaper, I'll take something expensive, and then he gives me a blue striped wall. And for some reason, I'm only getting blue walls. <laughs> I walk outside and I see another tarantula, and I learned that if you just approach it slowly, and then it'll pause and get on its hind legs, stop moving, and it won't attack you. They're not evil, they don't want to attack you, they just feel threatened, and they're willing to defend their property, and then run after you and bite you. And they also sell for 8,000 bells each, so you should definitely always catch the tarantula. It was at this time last night that I saw some crazy looking fish on Twitter, turns out it's called an ore fish. So I was fishing for large shadows, and I caught something I never saw before called a football fish that kind of reminds me of a, a, like a shiny lantern. <laughs> it has a light on top of its head. I guess they're rare, or maybe they only come out at a certain time, only at night. I'm not really too sure. Uh, maybe it's not rare because then I got another right after that. I also decided to craft fish bait for the first time because I didn't know what it did. I guess it just spawns a random fish, but I did find another possibly rare fish called the barred jackknife. I popped another balloon and this one had a golden nugget. This is now my second golden nugget and I still don't know what they're for, but I'm guessing maybe like a third tier of axes and other tools. And now I realize that I have over 100,000 bells most likely from fishing, so I finally repaid my loan. I did so and Tom Nook congratulated me and in the same breath told me that I can upgrade to a bigger house for 198,000 bells. Wow, he is a real estate mogul and a half. I popped a balloon for a really dope wall piece called Gears and then I found two more jackknives and another football fish while I was playing this blathers is trending on Twitter most likely because everyone is playing the first day gave the first five items and they're just waiting for 5 a.m. or till tomorrow in order for blathers to actually show up and everyone's just leaving things outside of blathers house so they can donate them and I guess I'll do the same blathers is gonna be in for a real treat tomorrow morning all in all I say it was a great second day well, I'm awake again, six hours later, because I just wanted to play more of Animal Crossing. <laughs>
Like, it's bad. Like, I woke up early just so I could play more. And it's a fresh new morning. This is my day three. And it's time for the morning announcements. <laughs> and you can see, you can see all of my fish behind Tom. <laughs> Looks like our museum is still under construction and it's going to be built tomorrow on day four. So we're going to continue piling stuff outside of his tent. But Timmy and Tommy opened up their new shop today. Hooray! So my goals for day three are to check out the new shop pay back my $200,000 bell loan and visit one new RNG island and get one new fruit. I do know that I can join someone else's island. I just want to see wall offline, not visiting other people, you get other fruit. But first foraging, doing a sweep of the island for digging spots, beach forageables, fruits, stones, and gathering as much wood as possible from my trees. We also got a letter from Daisy May that they're going to be coming to our island to sell turnips. I wonder if that's a crop that I can grow and sell myself. And then Paula approached me and that unlocked interactions, which is cool, I guess. And no matter how many times I try the two hole method, for some reason, I can never get a ninth rock. I've seen it done on Twitter. I've seen it. It, it can be a thing, but I just can't do it. I even tried a turbo controller. Can't do it. While I was foraging, I came across a passed out seagull on my beach. His name is Gulliver. And after hearing about his many lucid dreams, he wakes up and tasks me with digging up communicator parts. I don't know why, but there's a lot more presents this morning and one landed in the water. Turns out the, that that's a, a Nook Miles reward. So yay, I'm rewarded for losing a present. Finding all the parts took about six minutes. He then takes the sandy motherboard components, shoves them into his wet iPhone, and somehow it works. He should open up an iPhone repair kiosk in a mall. 20 minutes go by of gathering wood, and now have three to four stacks of every type of wood, three wasps' nests, and a stung eye. Now it's time to go check on the new store. So I got to meet Mabel the Hedgehog, and she's going to be stopping by and selling clothes. I heard that if you buy 5,000 bells worth of clothes from her that she sets up a permanent store. I'm not too sure about that, to be honest. Now there are quote quote hot items that sell for double for the day and a little drop box outside of the hut that closes at 10 p.m. But if I put anything in there, it, it gets mailed away and I get mail my money and then they take a 20% cut and I don't know if I'll ever justify that much of a cut. And my hot item of the day is a tire toy. Something that requires a tire, which is a random item while fishing. I bought the Tester Skills DIY set here at Nook's Cranny for more furniture from my house. Now with my storage upgraded to 120 for my house, because my house got the upgrade last night, I decided to clean up the area around Blathers and remove all of the duplicates and just store the fish that I want to sell inside of my inventory. And I walked over to Resident Services and Tom said that we're going to have three new villagers moving in, which is amazing, and he promised them furnished homes. And for some reason, now that's my job. Ooh, now I can build a bridge and that's pretty awesome. Mostly because then I'm going to be able to leave my vaulting pole at home and the bridge is really cheap to make four clay four stone and four logs that take three wood each uh, But it looks like the game only lets me build one and but it'll be ready tomorrow So I have that going for me, which is nice Tom then gives me three housing kits the plots are much, much larger than the first two tents for other villagers that I got to choose, and they take up a lot more room to set up, so I decided on all three plots, and then when you go and you look at sort of like this mailbox looking thing, it tells you the exact items that are needed for each house's interior and exterior, but also Tom gave me the recipe for a ladder, so that sounds pretty awesome. So the items that I need to build and the items that you may need to build will be different, but I made an Excel sheet for everything that I need to build and all of the supplies needed to craft all the items, of which I need 6 stone, 9 clay, 8 iron nuggets, 36 softwood including toy blocks, 28 wood, 35 hardwood, 20 weeds and 20 oranges, and 9 roses. All of that I already have, ironically enough, except for the oranges and the roses. It's ironic because I built an orchard and I'm going to have plenty of oranges in the future. So I build everything except for the oranges and the roses. I place them all in the correct places outside of the houses and in the mailboxes at the appropriate locations. And it was finally time to build the ladder. Up here I was able to find the roses that I needed, which is awesome. Two fossils and another rock, but not a single orange. 
It's so ironic because I just visited islands and they had oranges and then I planted the oranges and I have all these oranges, but I need oranges and I don't have oranges. <laughs> Timmy and Tommy sell the oranges for 400 bells each, costing me eight grand for fruit that I'm about to produce a lot of. So I think I'll hold off on that and instead do some island hopping first. And the first island that I go to is another orange island. But these orange islands are actually gonna save me a lot of money, which is nice. And I did get my third gold nugget. I put out a comment on Twitter and some people are saying that they do find foreign fruit islands. It's just very uncommon, like maybe 10, five, 20%, something like that. I'm not really too sure at this point. So I decided to buy one more orange ticket in the meantime, I bought the... <laughs> it's one more ticket, but, and, and d nevertheless, it did bring me to an orange island, which d I think you knew that was coming anyways. But the good news is now I have the 20 oranges that I need. So I put the last item inside of the last mailbox, and then I talked to Tom, and he gave me a reward of 50 fences with a sort of fencing hammer, which if this was any other game, I'd say that's a horrible reward, but it's funny because... This is Animal Crossing, and I'm actually really excited to get fences. And to wrap it all up, I built a fence, beautified my farm a little bit, I bought another ticket, it was another orange, <laughs> and then I did it again, and it was another orange, and I just don't know. I don't know. But you know what? I'm actually going to be wrapping this up, but I do want to thank you guys for checking out this video and my adventure for Animal Crossing. If you found it entertaining or if you learned something new in the video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.